everybody, I'm Heretic Plus, and today on Today I Play, we're gonna play a little bit more of Diablo 3. <clears throat> the sound is a little bit loud for me in my ears, um, so forgive me if it's gonna be, if it's maybe a little bit off in the game. Um, hopefully that's something that I'll be able to fix in editing if it seems like it's a big deal, but, um, you know, being new to at least this format of recording and and kind of shaking off the rust of recording in general, um, you know, it's, there are going to be some kinks to work out, and um, you know, I appreciate all of the all of the acceptance in my understanding of how to do this better and the future. We have returned to New Tristram. I do feel like the actual sound is just a little bit high. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I am going to go into sound, turn down the master, just a little bit. That that shouldn't affect on your end too much. I'm hoping the webcam will be okay as well. So now we have access to Hadrig. Your grandfather was King Yorick's We can ask him about his uh, granddad. Not much to tell. And uh, then we can take a look at how blacksmithing, like in this game, works. The whole uh, gear crafting system. It's really pretty. I mean, it's it's both simple, but also a lot of fun. Don't know if he succeeded. But there it is. When the skeleton king fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. I studied the fall of Tristram, but it is easy to forget that it happened to real people. Your grandfather was a brave man. It is interesting that his grandfather was like a super high rank. I guess we can't use it yet. You know, his, his grandfather was a super high rank. We should sell some things though. And uh not him. But his his grandson is is a blacksmith, which I guess if you look at medieval culture, I mean having a trade take a look. You know, automatically put you above the common peasants and you know, on top of that, when we're dealing with a fantasy setting, you know, they get to create the rules for, you know, how culture works and, you know, social class and whatnot. It doesn't have to be the same as what we've experienced in our world, uh, which is something that I think people forget sometimes when they want to cr criticize a uh, sci-fi or, or fantasy world. You know, it seems ridiculous to us, but, you know, when someone is designing their own universe, you know, their own reality, they get to design everything that led up to it, and that makes it what it is. Um, it doesn't have to use our rules and understanding just because, you know, it is... I don't know, I mean, just because it's it's entertainment, it's, it's you know, based loosely upon medievalness. Um, I don't think we really need to spend any money on buying things. The reason why in most games I don't feel like spending money, at least in the early game, is ever worth it. It's just because you're constantly finding new equipment to replace your uh, crap pieces of gear. Um, and because of that, I'm actually going to uh, skimp on transmog transmogrifying our stuff yet. Our stuff yet, because um, we're just going to find something better in a second, and that'll be wasted gold. Um, but this kind of episode is going to be largely dungeon crawling. We have access to the cemetery, we need to enter all of the crypts that we can find, and then try and retrieve his crown. Um, I think it is random, so it is, it is very possible. You know what, I'm gonna shut my windows real quick because I'm getting a lot of glare on my screen. It's making it hard to see. Ugh. Just closing the one is probably enough. I can kind of shut this one just a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. No issues now. Um, nice. So, yeah, back to what I was saying. This is going to, going to be largely a kind of dungeon crawling episode. Um, mainly because we have to enter all four of these crypts and... It's not, you know... Constant, I don't have arcane power. which, uh, which crypt the crown will be in. 
So it might be that we find it on our first trip. It might be that we find it on our second. It might be that we find it on our fourth. Um, but I'll point out now, you know, just to keep things moving, uh, if we find it before we search all four crypts, I'm not gonna search the other ones. I, uh, I don't care that much. Wow. Okay, we finally killed them all. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit more. It is, uh... See, I'm worried because it seems very loud to me. Is that better? That's quite a bit better. I think that is probably better than adjusting the game settings themselves, because I want to, you know, have a recording that has enough volume from the game already to make a difference. Um, Gathering Hood of Focus. So this will be our first uh, headpiece. Those boots are pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, we do not use any strength, but this is actually perfect for us, this uh, kind of circulate. It's not really a hood. It also doesn't really change much, but we do get more intellect. And we get a, a slight buff to our ability to pick things up. We can pick them up from further away. Our forearms are double-jointed and long. Okay. Once again, I, I'm finding very little need to use my Frost Nova. If my old masters could yeah, see me now. Go. Oh, nice new ability. I do believe that just about every time we level up, we gain the ability to change or upgrade our skills in some way. So we get Diamond Skin. Transform your skin to diamond, temporarily absorbing damage for a short duration. That seems... That seems like a better ability for us. So basically, it doesn't take arcane power, just for a short amount of time, and really every 15 seconds, we can avoid a vast amount of damage um, for a short period of time, which will increase our survivability exponentially. So far, so good. I think that each of these crypts is only one level, uh, just because there are four of them, and it's still kind of early in the game. But I could be completely full of shit. Your grave awaits. I'm thinking that I will probably start um, an actual uh, playthrough series of a game uh, here soon. Maybe even today. Um, and the main difference between that and Today I Play is that just about anything can be on Today I Play. Um, there's no kind of rhyme or reason necessarily. Just whatever I feel. And uh, in a way, power. that is done in an attempt to, you know, just make it easier for me and a little bit more uh, free-flowing to always have an upload every single day, at least of the week, like the weekdays. Because um, I do want to have an upload every day, I think that's important. But, you know, I'm, it's not always something that... Uh, will work out or that I want to be a series I'm working on, you know? And that's why I have Today I Play, uh, wherein for the playthrough series, um, those will, you know, be an, an ongoing enough, uh, maybe not every day, but at least every couple of days of some game that I'm playing that I want to play more of. I also really want to get in uh, kind of constant gameplay as I try to climb to master uh, this in looks like a crypt bit Heroes better. of the Storm. The crown must be here. Okay, so I guess she can tell. First try! Oh, okay, that's that's kind of bad. Mingle mob dies real quick. <laughs> that's all he did. 
unburied are formed from human corpses that were That's found in the graves he without a proper strong. burial. We just this killed them. Hideous amalgamation of bodies decomposes together into one being, bound by some foul magic. That was so easy. My knowledge. All right. I could only going. flee from it. And I would expect any other sensible person to do the same. Let's I didn't I didn't have to flee. I I, ju I just killed him. I just zap boom kill dead. All right, let's kill some dudes. Okay, we're running low on arcane power, but we're also running low on enemies. So as long as those stay congruent, we will be all right. So far the webcam is doing fine things. I'm a little bit concerned because of the upload from the other day, uh, for whatever reason, when I finally got it up to YouTube, uh, was only up to 360p, which seems odd because, you know, today I played number one was in a full 1080, um, and I'm not exactly sure what changed, because I don't believe I changed any settings, so I will have to review that uh, more closely to make sure that I can continue to upload high quality content. There's nothing wrong with the 360p up upload, but I want to do the 1080. Um, especially for the webcam, I find that that's really important. No, I will not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. Actually, I just want to kill him. I'm gonna make him bleed. Running away from me. Goodbye. Nice quest complete. The Adventuring Hide of Focus. Six Intelligence Belt. I keep wanting to press B for backpack. Do we want to go for more killing power or more vitality? Um, if we... You know, nothing is really killing us right now. We do lose 110 health, which is, you know, roughly one-sixth of our health, which is a lot. We only gain six intellect. Um, yeah, why not? I mean, nothing is threatening us. I don't think that the lack of health is really going to kill us too much. Uh, town portal. I am returning oh, so now we can Hearthstone. Uh, back to town. That's neat. Alright. We're making good time as well. We're only 12 minutes in. That means we have about 20 left. You found the crown. Truth be told, to make some more progress, do some more stuff. Ah, it needs repair. Should be no problem. Yeah, just good to work hit it with your hammer. There, new is the it's not jewelry or anything. The Black you know, King's it's, head. it's uh... I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. You can make me I gear. I want my life to mean something. Then help me. I will use your handiwork for great things. The Sly Oak Wand of Angels. That does not give us very many stats, but holy shit, that damage is good! Is it? It gives us plus three arcane power? I don't know. I mean, on the one hand, I feel like... And we can use an offhand, that's neat. See, it ups our damage. But here is my concern. We don't attack with it, right? We cast spells, which isn't that completely off of intelligence? and not off of the damage of our weapon? I don't... I don't actually know very well. Um, for now, I'm gonna leave the crossbow on, because that stat for stat just seems to be... a better weapon. I mean, the plus three arcane power is nice, but... we're talking plus three when we have a maximum of 100. Um, an extra three arcane power is not going to help. Very much at all. Um, and the extra damage looks nice, but we don't auto-attack things. We have no reason to do that. So, uh... I'm gonna stay with the crossbow, and we'll take a look at what he kind of has, so we can uh, train him. It takes 5,000 gold just for one level, um, and then we have access to all these different things that we can uh, craft, and we can also salvage things that we find out in the world. So we can salvage all of the pieces of gear we have. It trans uh, transforms them into arcane dust, reusable parts, veiled crystals, etc. Different things that we then use to forge weapons and armor. So you don't find raw materials, in fact you just bring back equipment 
and you basically salvage it and scrap it for parts. Most of these pieces of gear we cannot actually benefit from yet. We're too low a level. I think we're level 9. 8. We're level 8. That's pretty low. Um, maybe there's a weapon there that would be good for us. Though we have a nice weapon already. Level 18. Level 8. Level 8. This is... Can't use it. <laughs> Flails are cool. I want to use a... I'll, I want a staff. Here we go. The journeyman... Not even good enough. Can't even use that. A mojo. Can we use swords? Not at our level we can't use swords. Can't use a wand either. We don't have very much we can do. Uh, on the armor side of things, we can get our hands on... Not much. Let's go ahead and uh, just make one of these, just for kicks and giggles. An apprentice brigadine coat. That's pretty good. I'm happy. I mean, we lose 11 vitality, we gain 5 intelligence, and we gain 17 armor. Um, so for this piece of gear, you know, it, it almost doubles our armor. Getting some uh, lag in the game. Weird. Uh, give me a slight second, and I will be right back. Okay, we're back, everybody. Um, it looked like for a second my uh, Diablo game crashed. Uh, you know, it, it didn't get to program not responding, but, you know, it, it was uh, going incredibly slow and sluggish. It was unplayable. Um, I wasn't even able to access the menu to break out of the game. I hope everything is fine on the recording end, but uh, I just had to reboot. For whatever reason, uh, the graphical fidelity of crafting equipment and items in this game was just too great, actually, for, uh... We're starting to look okay. It was just a little bit too great for my computer to handle. I have the crown. How do I reach the Skeleton King? Ah, at last. You must go to the palace and kill him. In the room where you rescued me and enter the royal crypts. Okay. When you find the Skeleton King, place the crown atop his head and destroy him. The Skeleton King dies today. I must find the So, I guess what's going on here... Can she follow us? No. We can ask her about her mother and everything. I'm, I'm honestly, unless you guys act interested in, in what the story is, I'm not going to be too concerned about showing off all of that stuff. Uh, it's neat, but it's not particularly incredibly compelling to me, having already played it. You do not really play this game for the story, though there are plenty of badass elements, uh, particularly when we meet Tyrael. To the cathedral level two. Hello, checkpoint. All right, we're armed with our new ability, Diamond Skin. That's another unburied. Who we stun with our arcane orb? It looks like. Oh, oops. Okay, let's get him. Get away. Doesn't stand a chance. Massacre. Twelve monsters killed. Yeah, so far this has just been a really chill experience. It, it has not... it has not been difficult. Time not whatsoever. Okay, we have a lot of enemies here. Need more arcane Let's just have diamond skins. So if they hit me, we have this on. Actually, we... Take very little damage even if they can hit us, it looks like, so... No cause for concern there. Right. Hello. I'm gonna poop on your faces. Get pooped on. Alright. Take those guys down. Enlightened Shrine. That'll give us extra experience gain. Which is always nice. 
Oh, okay. It did destroy it. That was weird. I think almost all of these activate into enemies, but um, not all of them. These are a lot of guys. We should probably back up. And uh, I want to get in with our arcane orbs. I do think that for single target DPS, our uh, Ray of Frost does do more damage than our Arcane Orb does, but the orb is vastly superior for AoE damage. Just vastly superior. It does take a lot of Arcane power, though. Luckily, though, with our uh, Rune, I believe it's Rune, or Talent on Ray of Frost, we can make it almost free. Looks like the objective is just up, just up ahead. So I'm gonna just dip down here for a second just to see if there are any chests or pieces of equipment down here to grab. Okay. No, let's just go on ahead. I'm pretty excited to get on with the game, get on with the story. Cathedral level 3. This might be the last one before the boss. Okay, lots of enemies. You dare <laughs> attack me? Just six of them dead. All of them at once. I'm a fan. Hello. Maintain your incantation. Mantain, what are you doing to that poor man? Free. Okay, get now, out of town. Back to my mission. What's up, bro? Warrior? Who are you? You will know soon enough. Help me find my gear. I will reward you well. Tell me, what brought you to this infernal place? I have unfinished business with the Skeleton King. Well, As do I. honestly, a level... You know, if I hit level 70, I get a mount in Heroes of the Storm. I don't want to play this game that badly. I just, I just want to get the mount for the game I do want to play. So we need to help him locate his equipment. If anybody is wondering, you know, yes, I do already have the uh, level 90 mount from... Or is it a level 100 mount now? It is 100, right? I, I have a max level character in World of Warcraft, so I already have the wolf. Uh, mount. Not that I'm playing WoW right now, but uh, I did, I did level up a monk to 100 over the summer. The cultists dragged me past this glowing pit. What made it? That's what I'm down this way. There are my weapons. He's free. Do not let him rearm! Get your shit, boy. I am Cormac, warrior of the Templar Order. If it is the Skeleton King you seek, then you will have to fight your way past John Dar. John Dar. There is no reason we should hunt alone. I suppose not. A strong spirit my side could prove it. Okay, these are a lot of bad guys. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Okay, so... Yeah, so we basically have a follower now who's going to fight with us. He is kind of the first Lydia of this game, and uh, he's just going to help us handle a lot of these enemies. We might have a hard time with the lives. As we progress through the game, we will you know, have access to more and more, uh, more and more different followers. Um, I believe we actually get so that we can. I know that we get so that we can actually uh, I am Cormac, upgrade their equipment, the Templar uh, equip them with different pieces the of gear, King you weapons, seek, armor, you have to fight your shields, way past John Dar. etc. There is no reason we should hunt alone. They're pretty I good. Um, main, mainly, they're too big if you want to play Diablo alone. Uh, they allow you to handle a lot of the challenges that you might not be able to handle by yourself. 
Honestly, I think that you probably could still handle them by yourself, but, uh... Come on, man. That's what they're there for. Um, on harder difficulties, it becomes more important to have... I suppose it has just occurred to me that the higher the difficulty we set ourselves on, the more experience we gain. Uh, however... I... Do not remember how to adjust that in game. Um, you were a Templar, John Dar. How could you succumb to this coven? Necromancy the coven betrayal. is my brotherhood now, Cormac. The part, please forgive me. My vision was this is just too by easy. The coven's evil magic. Betrayal can never be forgiven. <laughs> Okay, that was a little bit wonky. We got the gathering leather pants. Our Thank pants you are better. Your aid. I will go with you on your hunt for the skeleton king. Okay, break this but one now, please. There is one condition. If we find the sacred tomes of my order, they are mine. That is agreeable. So I wouldn't mind taking a look at them. Then onwards we go to fight the skeleton king. Okay, yeah. May the battles never end. Yeah, so we can uh, both uh, give him skills and uh, also equip and, and change his gear um, to a limited extent. So for his level 5 skill, um, do we want healing or do we want him to taunt enemies near us when we are hurt? I'm going to go for the taunting. I would have chosen the same. Mainly because we are, of course, a squishy mage. Um, and if he can bear the brunt of the attack for us, we'll have less need to heal anyway. I am stronger still. There we go. It looks like we've got a few more minutes left in, uh, today I play. For calling it a day, we got a new ability. Shock Pulse Moon, and a new skill, Wave of Force. What does that do? Ew! Ew! That's kind of cool. And it has virtually no cooldown. Um, it, even, and it takes less power than Arcane Orb, so... When fighting against ranged enemies... We will use Orb of, or Arcane Orb when fighting against people up on us. We will use Wave of Force while popping Diamond Skin for all single target DPS. Otherwise, we're going to hit them with Ray of Frost. But I've lost track. Um, we also got a rune for something. Not Ray of Frost. I think it was for Shock Pulse. Explosive bolts. Yeah, but... God. The issue is that... That is just not a good ability. It... You know, we can't channel it. If we could channel it and just hold it down, and it would continue to send out bolts, I feel like, um... Can we return from the random element where it hits March, would be kind of okay? King lost all because it would continually... <laughs> he seethed with rage, spitting curses one, one upon time, us as traitors. <laughs> with great sorrow. I ran him through. Um, it, it's just too inconsistent. Um, it is just not worth it to me. So, we're not going to use it. In we go. Oh, we can't actually shoot spells through the door. So their shields uh, look to block a little bit of the damage at least. 
still. They, they are nothing that we can't handle. 25 monsters killed. Give me that experience. We should hit level 10 before the end of the uh, daily. Any reason to go down here? That's cool. Got a picture on the wall. Another scribe's lectern. I will forever live in anguish for my last attempt to honor my king. As we lay him to rest in his burial chamber, he manifested as a hideous skeletal demon. Gorash and my other knights were overcome at once, but I fought on. Piece of cake. It does appear that we, uh... Just went in a big circle for no reason. And we did it again! Nothing down here. Looks like a- no, there's, there's a door. There is a door. There are loose stones. There are dead skewered people. This castle is huge, man. Nope. Get out of my kitchen. Break that and then just uh, squish him. Uh oh. I don't have enough arcane power. There we go. So we are getting to the point where we just don't have a lot of arcane power for the really big boss fights. How does that feel? He seems to run out all the time. These slows are also really bad for us. We're gonna actually go up close and uh, see if we can't knock out a few at once. There we go. So I guess what they were doing was they were continually spawning more ghosts and skeletons by channeling their magic. Should be the last of them. Ooh, hello. Oh, these are a lot of enemies. If only they could see me now. Okay, new strategy. Uh oh, wrong button. New strategy. We're gonna get in here. We're gonna go boom. That did not work. That did not work. Black magic something. Okay. We did prevail. If only they could see me now. A distance. All right, we got a, a, a piece of equipment that, now that is a staff that we can use. Um, that extra intellect by itself makes it more worth it for us. And uh, now we're starting to look more like we are a wizard than we did before. Or are they called sorcerers in this game? I don't know. I don't re remember. Either way. I th think that was the only thing to do on this side of the dungeon. 
you know, I am really hesitant about cutting the video short, uh, just because I really want to get to a waypoint before we do that. So that when we start the next uh, segment, we will just be able to hop back into the action. But, uh, you know, if it takes too many more minutes, it's just not going to be worth it to do that, unfortunately. But uh, I really don't like whenever my videos go beyond a half hour, because, you know, I feel like a half hour is reasonable. That's about, you know, that, that's as much time as most people would watch a TV show. Um, and I think that YouTube, um, particularly, you know, ones based on gamers playing something, tend to kind of take the place of TV in people's lives. So a half hour to me seems reasonable, but when you kind of go beyond a half hour, I don't know, I, I always feel like it drags on. Um, and I know for me, I would rather be spending more time playing games myself than watching somebody else. As much as I like watching somebody else, I wouldn't trade it for, for uh, me playing, so I, I want to do both. And if this takes up all of the time you have, uh, then you don't have time to do the other. Alright, here we go. Checkpoint. Boom bop. Teleport back to New Tristram. You can see we are making fantastic progress all the way around. We've been to the Cemetery of the Forsaken, the Old Ruins, the Cathedral Garden, Cathedral Level 3, and we are now in the Royal Crypt. Um, just about done. But thanks for watching, everybody. In the next segment, I believe we'll venture down and destroy the Skeleton King. Um, I will also look into increasing the difficulty of the game, because this is just a little too easy. Um, and by a little, I mean, like, a lot. So, thanks for watching. Have a great...